everybody, my name is Chantel, and welcome to another Active HDL video. And in this video, I'm going to be going over simulation and debugging with the Xilinx Vivado. While Vivado may have its own simulator, Active HDL's easy integration with Vivado provides users with a more verbose and fast performing simulator and debugger environment. If you had to simulate a chip design for two days, Active HDL's simulation engine would cut that simulation time down to at least half that time. And that's a lot of time saved. Now, for this video, I'll be using Active HDL 13.1 and Vivado 2022.1. And before I open up a design, I would just like to give a reminder that in order for Active HDL to work with Vivado, two things must be done prior. One is to make sure that the path to the Active HDL installation directory is set. Do this by going to Settings under Tools, and then go to Third Party Simulators and make sure the path is correct for Active HDL in Install Paths. The second thing is to make sure that the proper Xilinx Favado libraries have been installed and compiled into Active HDL. If you need to do this, go to Compile Simulation Libraries under Tools. Now with that out of the way, I can now open up an example Vivado project. I already have an example file I'll be using called BFT Example which actually comes from one of Avado's example projects. You can find this by going to Open Example Project, look for BFT, and go through the rest of the project creation process. Now I'm going to click on my design to open it. We can now see the project files. This example project even has a test bench which we'll be using for this simulation. In order to be able to simulate this test bench in Active HDL, go to Settings located within the Flow Navigator pane. From there, go to the Simulation category and change the target simulator to Active HDL. Notice how the tab settings below have changed after setting the simulator to Active HDL. From here, you could change the compilation and simulation settings. In the Compilation tab, you can select options for compilation that you can normally access within Active HDL. For this video, to demonstrate simulation and debugging, under Compilation Settings, I'm going to check Debug, since that will allow me to step through the project code and utilize breakpoints during simulation. I'll also be checking the Statement and Branch Coverage options to demonstrate that you can gather coverage data from a Vivado project. You can click on each option to see a brief description of what they do as well. Under Simulation, you could check the simulation runtime duration, as well as even setting a user-made simulation macro. I'll also have Debug checked here, as well as logging all the signals for the simulation database. And in order for coverage to successfully generate, I'm going to check the respective statement and branch coverage boxes like I did in the compilation settings. After adjusting the settings accordingly, click Apply, and then OK. Now we're ready to run a simulation. In the Flow Navigator pane, under Simulation, click on Run Simulation, and then click on Run Behavioral Simulation. From here, Vivado will execute the analysis and compilation step, which will then cause Active HDL to open and open up the project. And once loaded, the simulation results will appear in the Waveform View window. Now the Vivado project can fully access all the debugging options Active HDL has to offer during simulation. Here inside the Waveform Viewer window, you can do things like sorting your signals and grouping your signals by creating a named row and moving them, or creating a virtual group. During your simulation, you can track different types of events across many signals, like monitoring WB input data and tracing whenever there's any change in the signal. You can even add comments to a part of the signal and display measurements across one or even two signals. There's also other different debugging windows, like the watch window. 
You can use this window to monitor signals outside of the test bench. Just click and drag signals you want to watch and continue to run through your simulation to view the results. The Vivado project can now also access ActiveHDL's advanced data flow. So you can now view the connectivity of the parts while simulation is running. Just highlight the source item in the structure browser, then click Add to Advanced Data Flow, and it will automatically generate a visual diagram that you can expand and view its connections. Clicking on View Trace also allows you to see more details on the different processes, instances, and signals within the area you click on. You can also use the Structure Browser to view the different source files the design contains and even set breakpoints in them. Thanks to debug being enabled, we can use these breakpoints. And we can step through the code. And since the design has been initialized within ActiveHDL, you can always reset or stop simulation and reinitialize it again when you need to. Finally, now that we have our simulation data, we can now generate a coverage report. While simulation is still running, head over to Simulation, ACDV Coverage, and Generate Report. Earlier in this video, I had checked off branch and statement coverage from my code coverage settings in Vivado, so I'll just leave only these two options checked for my report. And I'm also going to copy this address so I can open the file later. And now click on Generate. The console shows that the report was generated, and now we can open the report by typing open with the HTML switch, followed by the path I copied earlier. Now we can look at what our coverage report came up with. This is the overall page that summarizes the percentage of coverage for statements and branches. For example, the percentage of statements covered isn't 100%, which means that this test bench didn't cover all the statements. Expanding the design, you can go to the unit under test coverage report, and below this, you could see all the different processes listed for the statement coverage. You can click on a process to see the statements that weren't executed in simulation, which are indicated in red. In the code section, you can also see how many times each statement was executed under the hits column. And there you have it. We were able to simulate a Vivato project through ActiveHDL and use many of the tools ActiveHDL provides to gather lots of information on the design just from simulation. Being able to use ActiveHDL's simulator makes simulation and debugging of Vivato projects faster and more comprehensive. Thank you guys for watching and happy simulating!